The Gaia Sound Designer software lets you use your computer to control and reproduce the sound creation process of the Roland SH-01. And in this video we'll cover how to install the software and a couple of key features of the Sound Designer software. You want to make sure that you have the install kit with the install DVD and the owner's manual. You'll also want to make sure that you have on hand a USB cable and a USB flash drive. We'll need that for updating our SH-01. And that's the next thing we want to do. We want to check our OS. So we're going to hold down the center cancel, press transpose, and if the number 2 is lit, we need to update our SH-01. And we do that by going to the install CD, going to the update folder, and you'll find an updater program and you want to click and drag that to a USB flash drive mounted onto your computer to the root directory. Then take that USB flash drive mounted onto your SH-01, power up the SH-01, and the update will start automatically. It's finished when the tap tempo button is lit yellow and all eight number buttons are flashing. Remove the USB flash drive, turn off the power, and you're complete. Now we're ready to install the software. Click on the installer program. Click the prompts for the license agreement. And then next you'll be asked to input your serial number. And your serial number is found on the back of your owner's manual. Add that to the serial number field. Click continue. And then choose the hard drive or the petition of your hard drive where you want to install the software and click install. The software will install onto your PC or Mac and you're finished. Next make sure you have a USB cable connected between your Gaia and your computer and switch the power on. When you launch the Gaia software you're going to come to three icons which you see here. So let's launch the software. When the Gaia Sound Designer software starts up, the Navigator screen will appear, and the Navigator screen provides three choices. You can create a patch, you can create an action list, or you can actually print out an action list. And here we'll select a user patch from the Navigator window. Once we select the patch, it's loaded into the software, and we're ready to make edits. Let's look at a few features of the Sound Designer software. Here I'm clicking on the waveform display. And the built-in wave viewer lets you see the waveform of the SH-01 sound on your computer screen. And this is a great way to learn how changes in the sound affect the overall waveform. Another unique feature of the Sound Designer software is the action list. And the action list lets you record and reproduce knob movements you make on the SH-01 or on the screen itself every change that you make to the SH-01's knobs, sliders, or selection buttons are recorded as steps in the action list, as you can see here. or even press different selection buttons on the front panel, all of those are recorded to the action list. And here I've selected the high pass filter. Once you've finished, click the stop button, then click play, hold down a key on the SH01, and you'll hear how the sound changes in real time. <laughs> The Gaia Sound Designer software is available now and it's a great tool to enhance your creativity when you're editing or creating new sounds on the Gaia SH01 synthesizer.